Hi, I'm Bob Alsop with Shop Saber CNC. Around here they call me Router Bob. Today we're going to be doing a walk around of the Shop Saber Master Series plasma machines. Let's get started. The Shop Saber Master Series Plasma Machines were designed for high production, cutting heavy materials, cutting multiple shifts. It can be equipped with air plasma or high definition plasma, and we can also integrate various gases into the operation depending on your application. These machines can actually handle six inch thick steel plates, so that creates a very unusual set of circumstances for designing the frame, and here's how we did that. First off, the water tank is two feet deep, it's actually sitting on a steel frame that sits on the floor. So all that weight goes directly to the floor. On the sides of the tank, you'll see vertical supports. That's to actually support the sides of the tank. Once again, that's required because the parts can be so heavy. These machines have a single piece, all welded structural steel base. Our most popular configuration is the water table, and that includes an air bladder system that lets you vary the water level by as much as six inches. And we include a, a parts catch tray in here to catch small parts that fall through. We also offer this machine in an automated zone downdraft configuration that's also very popular. We used our finite element analysis engineering software to help design this machine, and that's why you see the engineered gantry that's machined in its heavy wall tubular steel. It also gives you eight inches of clearance above the table. Well, we did that for a couple reasons. One, the steel is much more resistant to the heat that you get when you're running plasma, and it lets us accelerate and decelerate the machine much faster. That gives you a better edge finish and much higher productivity. We use precision contour linear guide rails on all the axes. We do that because that's the best technology in the world for motion control because it's based on ball bearing technology. We're also able to integrate that into our finite element analysis system. And that lets us design a machine that you can add other options such as drill heads without affecting the performance. The bottom line is the machines are faster, smoother, and they perform better because of that technology. The machine motion is created with Mitsubishi closed loop digital servos connected through planetary drives. Now we do that for a couple reasons. One, they're extremely powerful, which lets us move the machine very rapidly without losing accuracy. Another part of machine motion is actually the wires that are used. If you use standard wiring on these machines, they have a tendency to break and you get these intermittent electrical problems. We don't do that at ShopSaber. We use robotic rated wire and it's designed to flex continually, but we do more than that. A lot of companies cut corners and they use open carriers. We use closed plasma rated wire carriers. So what that means is you're gonna have less problems during the life of your machine ownership. The final part of machine motion is actually machine control itself. We started by putting all the components in a steel cabinet that's air cooled. We actually built the control technology on a very robust Mitsubishi platform. But there's another part of machine control that's people related. Our goal was to create a machine control that a typical worker could be successful with. We didn't want to create an engineering position in your company. Let me show you how easy it is to use this control. Everything you need to run the machine control is on a single screen. And the icons are kind of grouped logically. For instance, this is motion control, so this is how you move the machine in the different axis. Now keep in mind, there's also keyboard shortcuts to do the same thing if you want to. I can move it slow, medium, and fast. I can move it incrementally and all of that. So it makes it real easy to set up. Now, there are things that you do on a regular basis that are grouped down here. For instance, homing is normally required when you first turn the machine on. That's how the machine knows where it is in space. But there's some different characteristics that are required because of plasma, and it has to do the settings and the torch, and they're pretty much driven by material. Let's take a closer look at that. If I go to configure, that brings up the configurations. And Basically what you have, you have different settings that are determined because of the material thickness or what kind of material it is. But one of the things we've done is we've given you the ability to have presets. So once you define that, it makes it so much easier because all the operator has to do is say, okay, today I'm cutting quarter inch mile steel and all the settings for the torch and everything, feed rates are all set. So it makes it really simple for the operator. And it, once again, as we said before, you don't have to have an engineer to run this machine. Now let's actually go through the process of what you would do to run a program. All right, so we go File. 
we select our program. All right now, here's something that's neat. I can click this button and I can show it, and it does two things. Number one is it actually goes through and it verifies everything in the program is good, and it displays on this screen what's actually going to be cut. So that's visual validation that the correct program is selected. And then all I have to do is hit the green button and everything starts processing. And you see the process live on the screen over here. So the whole point of making this interface was to make it where a, a normal employee could be successful and you didn't have a huge learning curve for one of our plasma machines. We decided to run the user interface in a Windows environment for a couple of reasons. One, by incorporating a solid state drive in the system, you're able to transfer files and save them there. It also gives you the ability to run programming software right at the machine control. And finally, it gives us the ability through the network to connect with the world. There's an idiosyncrasy about plasma machining that's related to collision. Now here's what happens. It can happen with thin materials. You start cutting a piece and it starts warping. The tip of the torch is fairly close to the surface, so it contacts the warp piece. Another scenario is you're cutting thicker material, but a piece of scrap drops down and it sticks up and the torch contacts it. So it's handled in two ways. Our standard configuration is a breakaway torch. When it contacts it, it swings out of the way, everything's fine, but the machine continues moving, so the operator needs to stop the machine and, and make the correction. We also offer electronic collision detection. This time, when it contacts it, it detects it and the machine control stops and waits for you to come over and make the correction. The flame on a plasma torch isn't perfectly cylindrical. There's actually an optimum height for it to be. So that's why we want to control how high the torch is above the surface. We start out by actually having the torch come over and touch the surface and then the control sets that height. Then as we're cutting, the actual hypertherm controller monitors the voltage and makes any adjustments necessary to maintain that the distance up for the torch above the surface is consistent. That's how you get accurate parts that are very consistent. Now, there's another aspect here. Let's say that you're making a complex part and it's got a lot of slots in it. It's not necessary to touch that off every time you start cutting another slot. So we actually have a setting in the machine control that allows us to tell it every so often make that adjustment. The bottom line is it creates much faster machining times without a sacrifice in part accuracy. The final part of the Master Series plasmas have to do with the power supply. Now we offer power supplies from both thermodynamics and hypertherm. Now we offer them in air plasma, high definition. We also have an auto gas council on the machine that lets us integrate gases into the cutting operation depending on the application. There's a general rule of thumb, the thicker the material, the more power it takes. When we do the final specification for you, we'll talk about what you want to do with the machine and we'll make sure that the correct power system is spec'd on the machine for you. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope what you gathered from this is that the Shop Saber Shop Master Plasmas are the most advanced in their category in the industry. If you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions, you can contact us at shopsaber.com. Thank you for watching.